I currently get 45 points a day following the Weight Watchers 2023 plan. These strawberries are like as big as apples. Like, wait, I have an apple to compare. What? Now I'm gonna be having a very low point lunch that leaves room for an afternoon snack and a dessert. We're gonna do a little pinch of flaky sea salt. I'm trying to eat the same thing as my family because that's what's easiest for me. Two happy kids on spaghetti night. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a brand new what I eat in a day on the WW plan to share with you. I currently get 45 points a day following the Weight Watchers 2023 plan. It has actually been a really like peaceful and quiet slow morning here. My children slept in till 730. That's like an hour later than they usually do. We were all just needing some extra rest. The girls have been having like some allergy kind of stuff going on. The pollen has just been terrible here in Georgia the last few weeks. So I'm glad that they got some extra rest this morning. Um, we have already kind of done breakfast for this morning. We just had it really simple. I had batch made some blueberry pancakes for the kids earlier this week and we had some tucked away in the freezer. So I just reheated those up in the toaster for them. I had one of the sourdough bagels I made for meal prep this week. So that was six points for a homemade sourdough bagel. On the bagel, I had two tablespoons of third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese and a side of grapes for fruit. So my breakfast was nine points. I have just finished my cup of coffee that I've been very slowly sipping on and it's, to be honest, gotten kind of cold, um, playing with the kids this morning. And it was super simple coffee. It was just a Nespresso vanilla custard pie pod, coffee pod, um, for zero points. And then I used my homemade coffee creamer. And that recipe is one point per tablespoon or three points for two tablespoons, which I use. So my coffee was three points. Anyway, I spent the morning playing with the kids upstairs. Nora is now down for her morning nap and Lila is doing some quiet playtime in her room because our schedule is a little bit delayed from what it normally is. I think Nora's probably only gonna take one nap today. So I'm trying to get this stuff done around the house that I can. I just like got through cleaning up the kitchen from breakfast and I took a shower, which is why my hair is like air drying and straight up in my face now. But before I move on to just some cleaning and organizing I have to do around the house today, like we're keeping it super chill. We're probably home all day today. Hopefully if the weather is nice this afternoon, it's been very overcast, but at least it's dry. The last couple days it's been just like thunderstorming and raining like all day long. So hopefully we'll have some dry weather this afternoon and we'll get outside for a good walk, go over to the park maybe with the kids. So, but while the kids are taking their quiet time, I'm gonna try and get stuff done around the house. But before I do that, I'm gonna have a little morning snack. These strawberries are like as big as apples. Like, wait, I have an apple to compare. What? nap time snack. Literally the only time of day I get to eat my own food without little fingers and little mouths going, ah, 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 mama, feed me, feed me, I want that. So simple, but so good. Just some plain non-fat Greek yogurt. I added a teaspoon of honey to add some sweetness. These strawberries are absolutely massive and really, really sweet. It's the perfect strawberry season right now in Georgia. We're actually going strawberry picking as a family for Nora's birthday this coming weekend, so I'm super excited about that. These are so sweet on their own. And the only points in this snack are for the teaspoon of honey, so. Super easy, low point snack. Lots of good protein in here that'll keep me full till lunchtime. So I'm gonna have my little snack and I'll check in with you guys in a bit for lunch. Dogs are awake, they're waiting for their grilled cheese for lunch. We have cheese and apples. Grilled cheese and apple slices. Facts, the air fryer makes the best grilled cheese. 
so easy and no pans to clean up. And then for my lunch, I grabbed a piece of salmon out of the freezer. I buy this in like a large cut from Costco and then I portion it into like five ounce portions. We freeze them wrapped in parchment paper so we can just grab out individual fillets when we want them for dinner or lunches or for meal prepping. So I grabbed one of these out. I'm gonna cook it in the air fryer and then I'm gonna be making an asparagus spring salad. I was talking about this in one of my recent um, grocery haul videos and you guys were so excited for it. This is such a delicious spring salad. I'm gonna blanch the asparagus, shave it into ribbons and then use like a really delicious lemon olive oil kind of a dressing on it and yeah other than a couple points for probably like oil or if i decide to do any sort of other kind of like dressings and stuff uh this is gonna be an almost zero point lunch very low point we have a very classic family dinner coming up tonight we're doing spaghetti and meatballs so i want to make sure i'm leaving points for myself for dinner because i'm gonna be having pasta and meatballs and i'm trying to eat the same thing as my family because that's what's easiest for me so i know that if i'm cooking something like that for my family for dinner then i'm gonna try where i can during my day to balance out my points i'm also trying to do better at eating multiple times a day instead of like saving all my points and or just getting busy and not eating to be honest that's what happens and then eating bigger dinners and then snacking all at night later into the evening I'm really trying to balance those points out during the day so I've already had a nine point breakfast a three point coffee a two point snack now I'm gonna be having a very low point lunch that leaves room for an afternoon snack and a dessert based on what I calculated out for my dinner ahead of time. So that's plenty of times to eat throughout the day. I'll keep myself full and going so I don't feel that need to grab things all of a sudden out of hunger and not be planful. So I did go ahead and take a few minutes to preload my points for the meals I knew I was eating into the WW app for today. That also really helps me stay on track during the day. If I've preloaded things, I know what I'm eating ahead of time. I don't have to like figure something out on the fly when I'm hungry I kind of have a plan in place and I've already charted the points and I know where I have wiggle room that's been helpful so I'm trying to pre-plan days when I can or at least parts of days by the morning try and plan out the rest of the day and then also trying to eat more snacks and just like more small meals throughout the day instead of just kind of cruising on coffee having a big dinner and then snacking the evening away and then I just did a little bit of salt this is a little bit of garlic powder and I'm gonna put this in at 400. Mine's still slightly frozen. It didn't thaw all the way since I pulled it out of the freezer. So I'm probably gonna let it go for like 10 minutes. Um, I'll check it in between though, just until it's cooked all the way through. So not eight minutes. And I actually think she's pretty firm. She's looking pretty much done. Some people will do this salad with raw asparagus. I prefer mine blanched just because I feel like the texture is nicer. Um, so I'm gonna blanch my asparagus. So after I chopped off the woody ends, I'm just dropping my stalks into a pot of simmering salted water and I'm gonna let these simmer for like two, three minutes, pull them out and put them in some ice water to stop the cooking. Hmm, perfect. A little bit tender, but they still have that good snap to them. what I'm doing a little lemon zest and then you could use some fresh minced garlic I actually have some of this roasted garlic um, that I had smashed up from when I made a roasted garlic like butter for bread um, the other day with dinner so I'm actually gonna use this like very caramelized roasted garlic in my dressing but not all of it because that's a lot then I'm gonna go ahead and juice half a lemon. This is really important if you do use raw garlic to squirt it right over the top of your raw garlic because that'll help kind of cook it a little bit and knock away some of that aggressive raw taste. And then just two tablespoons of some extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna whisk that all together. Nora's like finishing up with lunch, so sorry. She's getting impatient being in her high chair. And then add our asparagus ribbons. 
I'm gonna give them a quick toss to coat that dressing all over them. Lila's been my little sidekick here hanging out watching. What do you think? Did you taste the asparagus? Yep. Did you like it? Mm -hmm. Did you? Okay. Well, I'll take it. Do you want to try it with the dressing and stuff on? Do you want to try it once it's all done with the dressing and everything? Uh, no, thank you. Okay, no thank you. Save the rest for tomorrow, maybe with some soft boiled eggs. That'd be super good. We're going to do a little pinch of flaky sea salt. And a nice hefty pinch of Parmesan cheese, probably about a teaspoon or two. And we'll put our salmon right on top. I know it's a lot to do for like lunch, but this would be a really easy meal prep too. You could easily keep this in containers. All right, and here's my four point lunch on the WW plan. Again, all those points are only coming from the olive oil in the dressing on the asparagus salad, zero points for salmon. If you were to use more Parmesan, you may have to count like a point, but the amount I used was zero points when I plugged it into the app. So that's what we're going with. I also have a little raspberry Arnold Palmer, half iced tea, half raspberry lemonade that I made earlier with the crystal light lemonade. So it's a zero point little drink. And we're finally outside on our walk. Hi, Nornu. Lila, did the sunshine come out? Yep. Where are we heading? To the park. To the park. Off to the park. I'm getting a little walk in too. Hi, Nora. Big girl. All right, we've been playing a while. What do you think? You ready to head back? Should we go finish our walk? Sorry. Sorry? I was at the mall and now I have to fly back. Oh, you're on a caterpillar or a cricket airplane, huh? Uh -huh. You flew to the mall? Yep. Oh, that's an interesting way to travel. Mom is very far away. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Hello. So you did some swinging and did some slides, but it's pretty muddy here, so not a very long park trip. Oh, that's your shoe. That's your shoe. Don't eat it. Not in your mouth. Not in your mouth. Is it knack knack time? Is your knack? Good job. Here's your snack. We're all worn out from the park in our walk. And mommy snack along with a crispy Diet Coke. Ah, the sound of joy. Two happy kids on spaghetti night. Is it two thumbs up, Lila? All right, oh, there's two. And you, Missy, you're basically orange from head to toe. Good thing it's bath time next. The meatballs turned out great. I did end up going back and having two more, so I had four total. The meatballs were 10 and the marinara was zero points for a 15 point dinner. Okay guys, Josh and I had dinner. We were hanging out for a while. I did some editing work on this video. Now we're having some dessert. 
These are the orange cream bars from Sunday Shop, which I get at Aldi, and they are only four points on the WW plan. One of our favorite things to keep in the freezer in the summer are like different kinds of popsicles and ice cream bars because they're super easy just to like grab and go, but also they usually have a good variety of flavors in fairly low point options. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video, and until next time, bye. bye.